what is going on guys so the Kingdom Hearts YouTube page actually released their own Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer but the thing with this it was in English at the very beginning for the first 30 seconds there was some new footage like a um, Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser trailer it was 30 seconds and it contained new footage of Kingdom Hearts 3 and what I wanted to do really quick is kind of just go in depth with it right now because it shows off some pretty it shows off some new things like combos and some more magic and stuff like that uh, keyblade transformation and some other notable things so at this beginning part it just has young Ericus and young Xehanort just talking again you know the first cutscene that we've seen but then right here we it shows Sora actually using the keyblade guns on the rock titan and may I say it looks really cool so the thing that I see that's kind of similar about this is um, this kind of looks like the first trailer we got from D23 like two years ago. I think it was the, uh, the announcement footage. It showed Sora having these guns but it had the fireballs. So when you actually think about it, is it possible that you can change the magic on these uh, Keyblade guns? But I don't think so. But what I was really saying is that the the formation that it does where he kind of twists around and then shoots a lot at once forward, it kind of looks the same from the first trailer that we got, the announcement trailer. And then right here is our first look at some new combos. It looks like it has a normal combo, but right at the end, right at the end, you see him doing like a, I don't remember what it's called. It's not a sliding dash. Oh no, the ability that it, he's using is... I, if I can believe it, it seems like it looks like Slide Step from Kingdom Hearts 2. So it seems like Slide Step is actually a returning ability that is going to be coming in Kingdom Hearts 3. But I just like how the combos look because in all the old games, he used to use two hands at once with his Keyblade. But now it seems like he's actually using just one hand. So it actually makes me feel like he's maybe a little bit more matured at the same time. I know it's kind of weird to say that he he's more matured by the way he holds his Keyblade. But in all the other games, he used to hold his Keyblade with two hands usually. But in this game, it looks like he's just swinging it with one hand, just going ham, and then he does the slide step, which is really cool. And then right here, this is him using the Hercules Keyblade transformation on those Heartless that we saw in the first Keyblade in the first Kingdom Hearts trailer, the initial one where it showed off this uh, the first footage that we got uh, at this past E3. And it looks like he was using the Keyblade transformation on those Heartless, those Water Heartless. And then right here, we seem to see Sora doing some kind of slide dash or slide dodge attack. Because it seems like he's just sliding back and back. But he seems to be able to damage the Heartless. And then another thing that I kind of just want to point out is we definitely see that really, really annoying Heartless. The fat Heartless. And he does the slide dash to you. So obviously, I didn't think that it would have changed um, the move set of that Heartless, but I guess it's nice to know that he's going to have that annoying move still. And then right here we see Sora actually using the arrow ability, or the arrow magic ability, which we already knew was pretty much confirmed that it was coming back because he used it in the last trailer we got at E3. But the difference between this one and the other one is that in the trailer from E3, he was actually moving so that was actually a really cool ability that we first got shown where he's actually to, able to move while he uses the the magic and it'll lock on to one place or probably one heartless there's probably going to be the magic lock on ability in kingdom hearts 3 but in this one it shows him actually standing still and it, it looks cool because he kind of just lifts his keyblade up with two hands he's probably like wind or something like that <laughs> and then this right here this is what's really cool it show this is new footage of sora holding the keyblade cannon and it seems like he's able to melee with that cannon and do some sort of finisher with it like it seems like he's he whips the freaking heartless up and then he shoots it with the cannon and as you can see there's a really nice animation for when the cannon shoots it kind of like expands and then all of this footage is just stuff that we've already seen. Nothing really new about it. Also, but one other thing that I kind of wanted to mention about this trailer is the audio in the background where young Ericus is actually talking to Xehanort. And he's like, you know, 
there's a lot more light than meets the eye. There's more light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. I just kind of wanted to point out that the voicing in this one for him was different than the first one that we got from E3. And like I said, something a little bit noticeable is that he seems to be talking a little bit more aggressive towards the darkness. In the first trailer, he was just like, there's more light than meets the eye. But in this one, he's kind of more like, unlike darkness, there's more light than meets the eye. But unlike darkness, there's more light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's kind of a difference between that. He sounds a little bit more aggressive towards the darkness, which kind of makes more sense only because um, from when we last saw Ericus and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, he obviously seemed very, very loathing, I guess you could say, towards the darkness. Like he didn't want anything to do with it. Obviously he didn't want Terra to be succumbed by it and all that type of stuff. So. I think it's kind of good that they made Ericus actually seem like he was still against darkness rather than in the first one. Not that he didn't sound like he wasn't against darkness, but it seemed more like he was just like, it's whatever, you know? But again guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is awesome news that we got this new little teaser trailer with uh, some new footage with those nice, nice combos. That, that's what I really want to see, like the new combos that we're going to be getting in Kingdom Hearts 3. But again guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.